Hello, what's going on? Hey, everybody. How you doing? It's been a minute. Now, if you're watching, uh, I don't know if y'all are watching this right now. Well, if, you, if you're watching this right now, then you know that the Eagles smacked the Vikings and they're going to play the Patriots in the Super Bowl. And that's going to be an interesting one. I'm going to meet this for the rest of this, our little chat. But um, if you're watching this, you probably sc scrolled, came, or came across me on YouTube or you already follow me on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, go ahead and do that. My Instagram is Muscleman Marcus. But anyways, um, I've been saying that I'm going to make a YouTube video, but I haven't made a YouTube video in a really long time. And the reason I kept holding it back is because, I don't know, I just feel more comfortable posting on Instagram because of the convenience, but I feel like I would be able to reach a broader audience on YouTube. Not to say that I have, I mean, I have something to say, but it's not like I'm trying to like, I don't know. I With YouTube nowadays, it just seems like a lot of people are just like, seems like super gimmicky and all this stuff, but I'm gonna tell you this right now, like I'm a regular person, um, I'm in school right now. Um, I'm a senior. Well, I'm gonna just start by telling you about myself. My name is Marcus. Uh, most people they know me as Muscle Man Marcus, and I'm a senior. Go to North Carolina a and in Greensboro, and I'm about to graduate this semester. Turn up and uh, yeah, like what what else is there to talk about? Oh, I'm 22. Uh, I'm a USAPL powerlifter. Right now, I am getting ready to go to the Arnold and compete at the A7 Raw Challenge. I'm excited because one, this is my first time going to the Arnold, and for like three years I wanted to go. Even not, even not only to compete, but just to be in the environment, the expo, and like go around and like just see everything, see everybody, just the whole experience, which I'm gonna try to record. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Like, is that, that is that all? Like, this is supposed to be about me, if you don't know about me. Uh, my favorite color, brown. Uh, I like long walks on the beach. Nah, but low-key, I really do like the beach. Uh, I like food. I like cake. I like chocolate cake. And I'm trying to think, like, um, I like to lift, obviously. But I don't know, like... I don't want to make this like super in depth, at least not yet. Like I want you to like feel like you can talk to me, even though I'm talking to you and you're watching. Okay. Uh. Well, I I wanted to do like a slight Q and A, and I had a couple people DM me some questions, and so I guess I'm not that cool yet. One question I was asked. One question that I was asked, how did you get such a strong deadlift? My deadlift has been so weak. Any tips? Um, it's so fun. It's so crazy because deadlift, I used to pull sumo way, way back. And I've actually hurt my back three times in the convention. And I had to start over and it took me like three months. That's probably like nine full months of like rehabbing and trying to get back to normal. And so, First, I can say with Dylan is find your stance, like make sure you're training to get properly, make sure your form is on point. So a lot of people may have a, their stance might be too wide, or their grip, their grip might be too far out. So it's like finding that perfect hand position, find that perfect torso, hip height, and just learning to do the form correctly. Because a lot of people fail in their lips because their form is off or it's not the most optimal them and I also can say a lot of back training like for me my back is like probably one of my strongest attributes physically and like aesthetically and it's just like I've been working back in my training and the body movement and I see a lot of people like they'll do rows and they'll do everything in the power fashion which I understand just like you need hypertrophy to drive those muscles so you like want to actually train bodybuilding style for your back to grow like your back your back is flat. your back is a platform for all your lips so stronger bench stronger squat stronger uh, deadlift you need to get stronger and you need to get a larger step so that's my tip for deadlift 
learn to do it right, learn which way it works for you, and just work it. Lots of volume, kill that back when you do the accessories. So lots of rolls, lots of pull-ups, lots of pull-downs, but a lot of rolls, a lot of rolls. You just gotta keep doing it. Right. Next question I got, um, what drives me? Um, one of the huge things that always drives me is like, I've never been like, I've always been in this position where I was okay, but I was never good enough to be considered a part of the top tier class of anything. When I played football, when I ran track, it was always something like I got hurt or I didn't have enough time to work on a skill or get better at something. And same thing with school, like I was good, but I wasn't as smart as everybody else, so I had to like do more, I had to learn a different way or learn harder. Like it's just hard for me to learn. And I just had to take my time and work harder than everybody else was doing. And that's always been the, the story of, you know, I have to have go a little bit harder than everyone else just so I could be okay, you know what I'm saying? And even though I might be in like a good position now, like where I consider to be strong, I still feel like I need to work twice as hard as everybody else just to be considered decent enough to be considered really good. You know, I've always wanted more for myself. Everybody should want more for themselves. But, you know, just growing up and not being able to have the things that uh, everyone else had or live a certain lifestyle that I don't want to live because I couldn't afford it or, you know, it just wasn't in the cards. And, you know, I feel like if I push myself in everything and I just go as hard as I can, I'll be able to work my way to everything that I want. And hopefully I'll be able to not only show and prove to myself that I can have and get whatever I want, but I can inspire other people to like just work and make stuff happen regardless of where they came from or where they are. Because a lot of people get discouraged because they see like people living a certain lifestyle or having certain things and they might feel like they have to have those cards to be in their situation. And, and that's not always the case, you know. There are people that work hard and I want to be one of those people that just worked to get to a certain point and prove to himself and everybody else that they can get to that point too. So, and my mom, I love my mom. She works so hard and I just want to make her happy. Hope you're watching this mom, I love you. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. All right, next question, because I think it's one more. Okay, um, one more question. Uh, how do you consistently stay motivated? How many calories do you intake in a day? And what's your favorite cardio? Um, uh, I feel like a big part of the motivation is the discipline. It's like if you know you want something, you're going to make every effort to have whatever it is and you're going to keep trying and you're going to figure out different ways, no matter who gets in your way or what gets in your way, you're going to find a way to make it happen regardless of the circumstances. So a lot of my motivation comes from knowing what I want and knowing where I want to be and that's all I need. Like. If, if you know what you want, you're, you know what you're gonna have to do. A lot of people know what they want and they know what they have to do and they don't do it because it's too hard or they're too lazy. And I refuse to be one of those people to let my work ethic be the reason. Like, I don't want it to be the reason why I don't have something. Like, if, if you're telling me, if somebody told you, if you work this, this hard, you can have this, and all you gotta do is A, B, and C, and you just be like, all right, I'm gonna do C but I don't know about A because A, I don't really like A like that, but I'm like, no, I got to do A, B, and C, and if I got to do A, B, C, D, E, I'm gonna just do whatever I have to do. So a lot of people, they're not in that mindset, and me personally, that's why I am right now, that's where I've been for a long time. My, my mom, just that's how she raised me, and that's just that's just how it's been. Um, how, many in, how many calories do you intake? Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. On a good day, I might get 35. On a bad day, no, on a good day, I might get 35. That means, you know, I, I ate a whole lot, I'm ready to train, I'm good. And sometimes I'll eat right before training, maybe like two hours out and get all my calories there, probably like maybe 2,000 and just enough so I can have a quality training session. It's weird because I've always done intermittent fasting since my freshman year of college, because all my classes were from eight to like one something, the calf closed at two. I'm tired, so it's you choosing between food and sleep. 
I'm gonna choose sleep. I'm going to sleep. I'll eat later. I'll eat oxygen. I'll eat Z's. But yeah, I was not. But I mean, I'm I'm fine with it. Some days it gets ahead of me, and I can't I can't stay on it like I'm supposed to. But uh, I'm doing better. I promise, I'm doing better. And my favorite form of cardio is I like boxing. Like it always looks good to me, and it's it's beautiful. It's nice, and it keeps me. You know what I'm saying? Because anybody can get these hands. I'm just letting you know. But uh, yeah, that's it for that. Um. So what are we going to be seeing on this channel? I guess it depends on depends on whoever's watching this. What do you want to see more of? I hope to show more of my Arnold prep, and I hope for you guys to like make suggestions or maybe like you can even comment below what you want to see or what you want to know about. Or what can I help with? Mind you, I know a lot of people have their own way of doing things, so I might just shoot out something every once in a while on how it helps me. Maybe it be a squat or a bench or a deadlift, and I'll just explain to you how I do things. But um, yeah, I think I think I'm gonna end it here. Uh, like I said, Arnold Prep, we here. Um, we hype Arnold hype Arnold hype. Can I can I Arnold hype? Or is that oh, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna do it. But I hope you guys like the video. If you want to know more, maybe I can do another Q and A. You can leave comments in the comments below, and I can answer it on the next one. But until then, I'm gonna see y'all. I'm gonna see y'all. Hey. All right. I'm gonna see y'all.